Hi guys, it's Sam from Fluid Social. I'm here in front of the BBC building, Langham Hotel. It's about all you've got from me at the moment. But uh, today, what I want to talk to you about is the, the sexiest line that you can say to a girl when you approach her. So, we're going to look at today's topic through the lens of Occam's razor. For those of you that are unaware, Occam's razor is the principle that states simple solutions are usually the most reliable or simple solutions are usually the most effective or the best solutions when you find a problem and there's no other evidence that points to something else being the best solution. So how do we look at this in terms of an opening line that you can say to someone? Well, what's the simplest opening line you could say to another person? Hi. So if hi is the best and the most simple solution to this obstacle, which is the sexiest opening line, so under what circumstances is it appropriate to just say hi? When is it okay to only say the simplest possible opening line? Well, let's say you see a girl and she's standing still by a building, maybe outside a train station or just standing still at the side of the road, looking around and she looks relaxed. In this situation, it's okay to just come up and say, hi, I'm Sam, or just hi and wait for her to respond. But here the idea is that you're, you're avoiding overcompensating and saying more than you need to say to try and impress her or to try and coax out a certain reaction or response from her. And you're just saying hi and allowing her to respond, allowing the interaction space so that you can see her response, see how she's feeling and actually have a dialogue rather than saying as much as you can to, uh, to try and provoke a response from her. So there's not going to be a lot of cases where it's okay to just go up and say hi, but that is one of them. When she's standing still, she's calm, she's looking around. So what happens if she's standing still, but she's maybe looking at her phone and she looks a little bit more anxious as she's looking around? What could you say that's the simplest line then? Maybe, hi, you look lost and attractive. In this case, it's hi, but it's also acknowledging that she doesn't look so relaxed. You look lost, maybe she's looking at a map or she's messaging someone asking where they are, and attractive. It's expressing your intent, it's, it's honest, it's simple, and it's the simplest thing you can probably say in that situation. Or at least it is a very simple version of something simple that you could say. So, the next situation, a girl is walking past. She's walking down the street, she walks past you in the street. Now, a lot of you guys have been kind of brought up on the London day game model where you have to go up and say, hello, I just saw you walking past. I was with my friend and I know it's pretty random and strangers don't really talk to each other very often, but I thought you looked kind of cute. So I wanted to come and say hi. Uh, no, don't say this. Stop it. Please stop. Stop. Just hi. I just walked past you. You look cool. That is enough. If you're saying that monologue at the start, trying to remember your lines, trying to provoke a certain response, there are, she's going to notice that you're not entirely there. She's going to still be reacting to all of this information that you've given her, and the interaction will not be as clear and cohesive. If you go, she walks past you, you turn back around, put your hand out, say, hi, I just walked past you, you look cool, you look good. This is the simplest thing you can say to stop a girl when she's walking, introduce, have an interaction without trying to prove yourself, justify yourself and, uh, and, and, uh, yeah, and, and really engage in, in a response from her. You're just saying what you need to and this is going to lead to the best dialogue. So finally we come to like a situational opener. Maybe you're in an ice cream shop or you're in a bookstore or a clothes shop. So what do you say? You don't have to say, hey, I'm looking for a gift for uh, my friend and uh, she's like 25 and uh, I think she really likes clothes, so what would you recommend I buy? What do you think I should get her? All of this, you know, uh, overthought of lines that are designed to provoke a response. Instead, you can just go up, let's say she's looking at ice creams and be like, that one's not good. That flavor's really bad. You're in a clothes shop, she's looking at clothes. I like that color. So you're probably thinking, okay, so I go up and I say that, what do I say next? What, well, firstly, it would depend on what she replies, but most likely she's gonna look at you 
and comment something like, like, oh, or like, okay, I quite like it. The next response can just be, where are you from? Based on her accent. Again, you're not giving too much away. You're not exposing yourself as trying to force an interaction. You're just saying something based on the situation, the most condensed and simple thing you can say in that scenario. And then based on her voice, you can either say, oh, are you from Italy? Or where are you from? You don't have to think about something clever to say. She's going to be able to tell if you're intelligent by the way that you're communicating. Your entire personality is on display in the vehicle of your communication, which is your body. You do not have to say the right words. There is nothing right to say. Keep it simple and allow the interaction, the space, to actually understand how she's feeling, to actually connect. If you think about it, the interactions where you've gone up to a girl and you've started speaking loads, hey, yeah, I just saw you walking past. Yeah, I don't usually come to London, but I'm staying with a friend at the moment. I really like it. But what about you? Where are you from? What do you do for work? Those interactions, you actually don't remember them. You don't remember what her face looked like. You don't remember what she did. You don't really remember anything about the girl when you're trying to force yourself to say as much as possible. The ones that you remember are the ones where you're quiet, where you're calm, where you're present, where you're smiling, speaking slowly, and just connecting over the most minimal verbal interaction you can have and allowing your body language and each of your personalities to flourish in that space. So for you guys going out and actually doing your approaches, the big takeaway from this is I want you to go out and say less. Whatever opening line you're giving to women, wherever you're going and you're approaching women, try and condense whatever you're saying into the simplest form and just say what you need to. Occam's razor, the simplest solution is usually the best. That is your heuristic. That is your rule of thumb. I want you to go out and practice saying less. Leave your feedback in the comment section below or email me at admin at fluid.social and let's talk about it because I really believe that this is the best way to communicate and it gets you into the habit of expressing yourself without needing to prove yourself with the words that you say. So give it a go. Let me know how it goes and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Sam out.